If you travel, you most likely have a sticker map on your RV. Well, we do too. Odds are, if you're watching this, you either follow us or have seen us around social media and know that we also have a digital photo map that we like to keep updated. In order to do this, you're going to need a few things. First off, you need photo editing software. I personally use GIMP, G-I-M-P. Um, it is open source and free, and it has many of the same features that Photoshop does, but without the hefty price tag. I will include a link down below in the comments to where you can download that software. Second, you need a map. Um, when I did mine, I just googled large blank US map and it came up and I found the one I wanted. I will include a link also to the map I used down in the comments below so you don't have to search around. Third, you need your picture. You know, we have seven of us, so taking a family photo can be challenging sometimes, especially when you're trying to fit within the shape of the state. Uh, not all states are shaped the same, so you do need to check out the state and how its borders work and try to pose to be within those lines. Once you have those three things, um, you can definitely do what we do, and I will show you how. By all means, this is not the only way. This is just how we do it, and it works for us. So now that you have your map and your picture, open your photo editing software. Next, you'll need to find your map file and open it as well. You'll want to put it someplace easy to find, either on your desktop or in one of your folders. Now that you have it open, use your fuzzy select tool. I think some softwares call it the magic wand, I'm not sure, um, but use your fuzzy select tool and then select the state you want. See how it highlights the whole state? Then you can either just hit delete or go to clear. See how that has a checkerboard behind it? That indicates that this area is transparent without a background. Next we're going to create a new layer. Then this layer needs to be the same size as your original layer. Now go find your family picture and open it. It's going to be way too big and you're going to need to scale it down to fit your map. Um, you can use the grid lines to try to figure out how big you need it. I usually kind of guess it and then adjust as necessary. Um, but you're going to want it so your picture will fit within that hole. Yeah, let's try this. All right. Boy, is it going to look tiny. But don't worry, it will work fine. You can make it so you can view it better. All right, so now go back to your map. Or no, wait. First, you need to copy visible. You may need to select all, um, but next, select the layer you want to paste it into, and then go to Edit, Paste Into. On GIMP, it usually ends up pretty close to where I want it, but then you use the Move tool, and you can move it around to adjust it the way you want it. Once it's where you want it, you need to go to, you can zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. Um, and then if it's where you like it, go ahead and then anchor the, the selection. This will put it in place so it's not going to move around anymore. Uh, oops, I was just trying to show you that it doesn't move. All right, so next we're going to do is we're going to merge down. Um, this is going to flatten the image and take away the second layer and make it just a single layer photograph. And then you save it. Um, GIMP does save the files as a specific format that it uses. Um, so you, I do save frequently. That way, if I make any mistakes, then it won't uh, ruin my project. And then you need to export it to a format that you'll be able to use either on your website or via social media or however you want to use the picture. If you like this video, you should go check out our library, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, 
subscribe to our channel. Check us out on Facebook.